So that is how it works on eBay. It differs on Amazon in the following ways. So unlike in eBay, where you can essentially choose the variable around which to create your variation listings, Amazon has predetermined which sorts of variables are allowed to be used for each individual product type that you want to list to. Here are some examples. Under clothing and accessories and luggage, you will still find our t-shirts example. You would be able to list this and vary it by size and color, but you would have to create separate listings for your types of t-shirt, such as fitted or regular and long sleeve or short sleeve. Under health and personal care, you might find that the shampoo you're looking for varies by scent. Under sports and outdoor, you may see helmets varying in size and color, just like our t-shirt example. The examples listed here also show you how the variations will display on Amazon. Since the allowed variables are preset by Amazon, the question remains, how do we know what is acceptable and what is not? This brings us back to our inventory template files. We used them before when determining the required fields for our XML mapping of product types. For more information on how to XML map, please see our training guides. To get the inventory template files, you'll need to find them on Amazon under the volume listing tools. You can select the category you are looking for and download the appropriate file. To get back to our t-shirt example, I have downloaded the file for clothing, accessories, and luggage. Once the file is open, you will find a section on variations under the Data Definitions tab. First, we will see an explanation of the parent-child relationship. In Amazon, parents are not purchasable as they are not actual products. As Amazon describes them, the parent defines the basic data about a product. Parent products are not purchasable. The parent product simply specifies the attributes of the product that are common among all of its children and acts as a placeholder. The child product defines the possible variations, i.e. size or color, of the parent product and represent the items that are actually for sale. In the next row, you will see that the parent products have their own SKU. These are assigned by Amazon and do not need to be added by you. The last row of information of the variations theme will describe which aspects of the product are valid variations. In this case, only size and color. So let's review what we know about variations in Amazon. Variation themes are determined by product type and decided by Amazon in advance. Parent products are placeholder products. SureDone creates the parent SKU by indicating the SKU of the product in our t-shirt example as 101 and then adding a dash and then an, the word Amazon or A-M-Z-N. Once you've determined that variation listings are allowed for your product type, you will need to set up your Amazon channel to accept variations. So let's go back to the settings gear menu and select channels. Expand the XML mapping for the Amazon channel you want. Then select your product type. For our t-shirts example, we are going to be using clothing accessories. The third field down is our variation theme, and you saw this mentioned in the inventory file templates. You are going to need to map that to a custom field where we will store the data. So let's go back and create our custom field variation theme. We'll go back up to advanced and add a custom field. We're going to use variation theme for the name and the label. It is a var car, but we can turn off displayed as we don't want to display the information on our eBay listings. We then click on save settings to create our field. And now let's navigate back to our XML mapping under the channels tab. Once we are back in clothing and accessories, we want to make sure that we've mapped all the fields that we are going to be varying. In this case, we're going to need to map size and color. Then we are also going to need to map our variation theme to our new custom field. Once we have all that in place, we'll click on Save Settings, and we are ready to list variations on Amazon. 
Keep in mind that you will need to repeat this procedure for all of your product types in the Amazon XML options. Just to remind you, if you do not find a variation section in the data definitions tab of an inventory file template, it indicates that variations are not allowed to be listed under that category.